Hello, I want to talk to you today about giving. As you all know, that transform your mind is seeking nuggets day by day to bring to you, to help empower you, to give you your power back. So as I transform my mind, I do a massive amount of studying and I spend time with the Lord based on my shortcomings. So I have a few challenges in this life and I ask God how to overcome them and he gives me his words. And those of you who are fortunate enough to be a part of my text ministry, you get that word fresh. As soon as it comes out, I text it to you. But for Transform Your Mind here in this arena, I'm going to give you a nugget as well. So I ask, how can I increase my financial stability? And God said, give. So you're wondering, how can you need something and then give it away? But are you giving it away or are you being obedient? So why don't we take a look at Luke 6 and 38. And I'm going to give it to you like he gave it to me. He said, give and it will be given unto you. So, of course, I looked that scripture up. Because I don't always know the address, but I'm learning. So when I looked that scripture up, I found out that in Luke 6, 38 says, Give, and it will be given unto you with good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. Now, I previously discussed about giving grudgingly or of necessity. We're not supposed to give that way. But the measure that we give, the give without expecting a return, the give joyfully, happily, because the word of God tells me to, to give knowing that I've helped someone, that I've made someone's day, that I made someone smile. But my giving also brings the scripture to life. And that's what I love. I love bringing scriptures to life. So in my giving, I know that the Lord will reward me. And if I give secretly, as previously discussed, he'll reward me openly. So if you're facing a financial challenge, things just not seeming to add up according to what you think it should, know that we are just in this world. We are not of this world. We do not operate according to the world system. The world system says to get, but God's system says to give. So I'm asking you, transform your mind. Become a giver so that God can give unto you. Pressed down, shaken together, running over is how I want to receive it. I love you. Have a great day. See you soon. The theme for this season, dream big. So big that it's going to take nothing less than a miracle for it to happen.